Today's movie stars Meg Tilly. Okay, it doesn't exactly star her, but she is in the movie. The movie actually stars a young Gabrielle Anwar, who plays the deadly and beautiful Fiona in Burn Notice. After some narration introducing herself and other characters, she is almost immediately attacked in a gas station bathroom. My dad had been assigned to inspect the military southern sector of the EPA. My stepmother, my half-brother, and I had to spend almost two months on the road with them. They're everywhere. They get you when you sleep. They get you when you sleep, you hear? Get, get out of here, be next. She is walking around the military base when she's surrounded by a bunch of guards. This is stopped, however, by the general's daughter, played by the adoptive sister from Child's Play 2. Be here without security clearance. What's up, guys? Get in the car, babe. This is Jen, she's an army brat. They immediately become friends. I'll let Jen introduce her mom. Shit. This is why my dad's an insomniac. He's afraid she's gonna burn the fucking house down in her sleep. Mom, this is Marty. Marty, this is my mom. Vodka. Want some? Somewhere along the line, her dad is doing his EPA work testing water when Forrest Whitaker shows up and asks about side effects. Dad starts telling him that his kids will grow fins and shit, but no, that's not what he's worried about. I'm not talking about physically, I'm, I'm referring to psychological effects. I'm not following you. Can they affect the brain patterns? Can they interfere with chemoneurological processes? The little brother is finger painting at school and he notices some weird shit going on. No horror flick is complete without a love interest, so we get a cute boy who finds a little brother and he keeps popping up, including the lamest game of Never Have I Ever in history. What's going on? Found him wandering around, we figured he was lost. <laughs> well, this is romantic. Now what? I've never eaten Brussels sprouts. <laughs> There's already been a couple horror elements, but now it really kicks into high gear just over 30 minutes in. So kudos to the movie for a fast pace as we start to see the alien pods and Meg Tilly turn into a husk. Hey, Ray from the future here. If you did not know that Invasion of the Body Snatchers was about alien pods and aliens replacing humans. Oops, spoilers. Mommy. 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 At this point, I have a question for you, the viewer. Is Mike Tilly's sister Jennifer in this movie? Because there's a weird cutaway that's clearly a body double of a nude scene that Meg Tilly does not do. And the credits only list the body double as Jennifer. <laughs> Somebody let me know. Is Jennifer Jennifer Tilly? Up to this point, we've seen some shady stuff going on, including a person getting turned into a husk, but no one believes the stepbrother that this is what's going on. He says, my mommy's dead. No one fucking believes him. Jen, the friend from earlier, she started to notice some differences in her mom's personality, as Forrest Whitaker had asked about earlier. Taste it. It's water. That's right, it's water. There's always vodka in this glass. I'm leaving now. 
Where are you going? We're going to play bridge at the Smythes. What? She doesn't know how to play bridge. And fuck, our main characters are dead. Okay, not really, but they do almost get killed, and we get some great special effects makeup. Ray from the future here, please ignore the half a frame of nudity that I was too lazy to edit out. Thank you. And a super scary, great speech by Meg Tilly Alien. Where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna run? Where are you gonna hide? Nowhere. Because there's no one like you. The next portion of the movie goes pretty much how you would expect, as most of the army base has now been converted into aliens, and the few stragglers left alive are struggling against the hordes against them. Hey, Justin. Go to sleep, Timbo. What is this, some kind of joke? Can't you see? When all things are conformed, There'll be no more disputes, no conflicts, no problems any longer. Abandon yourself and join us. Where's Jen? What happened to Jen? We haven't seen her in like half an hour. When the smoke all clears, we're left with just four humans left alive. Gabriel Anwar, dad, stepbrother, and cute guy. Half-brother, not stepbrother. It's Invasion of the Body Snatchers. It's fine. There's a couple different things in this one. Uh, we have Forrest Whitaker. We have Gabrielle Anwar, who does get very naked in this movie. And there's also some dumb lines. It continues the thing of, if you just act like you don't have emotion, the alien somehow can't tell that you're not an alien. They have no self-awareness at all. So in order to test cute guy, one of the aliens is like, Hey man, I fucked your girlfriend. And the guy just stares at him, so he's like, Ah, he must be one of us. Give him a fucking helicopter. What? If there's any suspicion, just fucking grab one of your pods and reconvert him. It takes like a second. Basically, everybody dies or is converted. Uh... I'm not telling you if everybody dies, you're just going to have to watch the end for yourself. You never know. Maybe the good guys win this time. I want to count on it, though. I've pretty much gone through the cast on this one. Meg Tilly, Gabrielle Anwar, Forrest Whitaker. This one is directed by Abel Ferrara, who has a unique direction history. He's been doing documentaries his entire direction career. He started with hardcore porn and video shorts. And his last, like, 20 films are 
true story documentaries. He did Myth 45. He did Driller Killer. He did Bad Lieutenant. So many weird movies throughout his career. Guy is the most unique directing career I've seen in a while. Might have to dedicate a month to him one of these days. None of the hardcore porn, of course. There's really not a lot to say since this movie been made four times. But I still liked it. I still think this story's interesting, even though it's been done and copied a bunch. Still check it out. It has some fun things. It has some good performances. Some actors you might not expect to be in films like this. Check it out. And check out my channel. Don't like or subscribe. I don't give a shit. Uh, comment, though. Comment. Tell me what to review next. Or tell me that my beard is stupid. You'll be lying, but you can still say it. Thank you for watching, and as always, I shall try to do better next time. No bonus clip this time. Well, maybe from the next movie I'm reviewing.